Hello. Welcome to Why Much Mars. Why is there so much Mars stuff going on right now? And there's really a very simple reason why all the Mars stuff tends to cluster together. And it has everything to do with getting from the Earth to Mars. So I'm going to switch over. This is a, a neat little program uh, created by NASA Ames, or at least hosted by NASA Ames. And it's called Trajectory Browser. And it lets us search for trajectories from Earth to another place. So I've chosen Earth, I've chosen Mars here. So we're going to go from Earth to Mars. It's a one day mission. I want a rendezvous. Um, I'm going to do launch years from 2018 to 2023, max duration two years, maximum delta V of 10 kilometers per second. Um, if you don't know about delta V, go watch my solar system road trip video. And I told it to show all the trajectories. So go on, we click on search. It gives us this really neat little picture here. And what this picture encodes, so we have dates from left to right. January 1st, 2018, all the way through January 1st, 2023. The y-axis here shows how long it takes to get from the Earth to Mars. So way up here, this one is a couple years. Um, way down here, this one is only 80 days. And then the color coding on these circles is over here, and it shows the total, total delta V to get from Earth to Mars using a specific trajectory. And what we see is blue is really low delta Vs, somewhere in around the four and five range, and all the way up to red, which is very expensive delta Vs. So we can remember that delta V of four is pretty easy to generate. Um, you can probably generate most of the delta V of four with your launch vehicle, um, even if you have a decent sized probe. Uh, delta V of 10 is very hard to generate. So basically the, the low delta Vs, you can have a big probe for a given size launcher. Uh, the high delta Vs, you're going to have to only have a very small probe. So if we're wanting to do science on Mars, what do we want? Well, we want a trip from the Earth to Mars that is pretty quick so that we don't wait years and years to start out uh, to start our uh, exploration and we want a delta V that is pretty low. And what we see is we see these interesting clusters here. So for instance, that one's May 10th, 2018. That one's August 3rd, 2020. That one is May 24th, 2023. I'm sorry, September 26th, 2022. And if you look at those dates, what we find is they're just a little more than two years apart. June, July, August. Uh, a little more than two years, two months apart. And the reason that happens, let me switch to one more thing. Um, the reason that happens is because of the orbital alignment of the two planets. So this is another neat simulator called the Sky Live. And basically what I'm showing is the date when the most recent Mars explorations were launched. And March 2020 was launched on July 30th of 2020. And what you can see is that the Earth is here. It's just a little bit behind Mars. And you can see that if we go that direction out towards Mars, it's a, it's a short distance, which is one of the reasons why the travel distance is low. And because of the alignment, the amount of delta V is pretty low as well. Now if I animate, we can see as time goes by, Earth moves past and we get to these locations and it's much, much harder to get to Mars. In fact, I'll go by months now as we jump by months. See, eventually we get to where Earth is in opposition to Mars. And there are some, some trajectories that get us there. We saw them higher up in the graph, but they aren't very quick and they aren't very cheap. And we'll just keep going around and see when does Earth come up. Okay, we're, where are we? About September, October of 2022. So that's when we get to opposition again. 
I'm not sure opposition is the right term. We get close to it in the orbit. And if we go back to the trajectory browser, we start looking at these. And what do we find? September 2022. So uh, the reason is pretty simple. The reason we see Mars missions every two years is every two years or so, we have relatively cheap launch windows that get us to Mars in about uh, six months. So why much Mars? Now is the time for it. Thanks.